Today, I'm gonna show you how to take a photo like this and turn it into this in roughly five minutes, hopefully. <laughs> Intro. What is going on guys, my name is Kenneth Fleece and welcome back to the channel and another Snapsy tutorial. Last time on Tutorials by Kenneth Fleece, we discussed eight tips to start killing it in mobile photography. I received a comment asking for more tutorials in the different Snapsy tools, so this is a step in that direction. Today's video deals with Snapsy's ability to create a double exposure. If you're unfamiliar with what a double exposure is, it's where you take the exposures of two or more images and combine them into one image. These type of photos are amazing to look at and can yield great results when done properly. So all you're gonna need for this one is a jar, something solid colored to fill that jar, a smartphone, and the app Snapseed. Once you have all your materials, go ahead and fill your jar. I chose orange juice because we're going to be using selective mode in Snapseed to grab onto this color. So it needs to be something that's different from the environment that you're going to be taking this picture. So Snapseed can recognize and remove that color alone and not something else in your image. Next, you're gonna need two photos. One photo of the jar with the solid colored substance in it and another photo that we're going to put on top of that jar. This is where your creativity comes in. Think of all the different ways you could put this jar in a place to make it look awesome when you put your second photo on. The double exposure is really great for telling stories, so kind of keep that in mind. You can hold the jar and then place the photo of something near and dear to you in it to symbolize some sort of love or attachment, or you can put the jar somewhere alone with like edgy lighting to kind of symbolize loneliness or despair, or you can just make a cool shot like I did. I kind of did like a little levitation effect, um, which I'll be doing a video on later, so subscribe for that. But for right now, we're just gonna continue with the double exposure tutorial. Once you have all your materials and both photos, go ahead and hop into Snapseed. All right, once you're in Snapseed, go ahead and open up the photo that you're gonna want inside the jar. The reason we're opening this one first is because this needs to be in black and white before we start the rest of the editing process. So go ahead and pop into tools in the bottom center and then select black and white. Do not let it default to contrast on you. Select neutral on the far left because we'll be adding contrast and everything else later. So it doesn't need to be added twice. Now we're gonna open the main image, the one that has the jar in it. The first thing we need to do is darken this jar so that when we apply the black and white filter, it really gets dark. To do that, open up your tools in the bottom center and then select selective mode. Select selective. The prophecy is true. Open selective mode. Once inside of selective, go ahead and start darkening the image. To do that, place a thumb down and just grab the center of the jar to start off. Now put a second finger down on the screen to see where it's being edited. For my particular image, you see the palm of my hand and part of my face is being edited and I don't want that at all. So just pinch in to only edit that part of the jar that's centered in the red. So now only the jar is gonna be edited and bring the brightness all the way down and even drop the saturation so all the color goes away from that. You'll notice that most of the edges of the jar are still yellow. You can press and hold on your points and then select the paper icons and then just paste your edits on the remnants that weren't edited by your last selected point. Bring that down to just the parts that you want to be edited and then we'll do it again. Once you feel like you have it, go ahead and tap the eye icon in the bottom and take a look at your handiwork. And that's looking pretty good for me, so I'll select the check mark here. Once you're done darkening the jar, put a finger down on the screen and just take a look and make sure that there's nowhere else in your image being affected by the darkening. I'm taking a look here and aside from a part of the wall, it doesn't seem to be adding anywhere else, so I'm happy with it. Now we add the black and white. So go into your tools in the bottom center and then select black and white, which is second from the bottom on the far right. Now you can select contrast. Now if your image gets too dark when you select contrast, like mine is kind of on the left side of my face here, you can still brighten your image by sliding your finger from the left to the right on your screen. And then select the check mark. Now we'll take a look at our handiwork yet again. And you'll wanna make sure that your jar is nice and dark like mine. So the next step is to go back into your tools and then on the bottom left, select double exposure. Then select the photo icon with the plus mark at the bottom. So now you're gonna to wanna to open that image that we made black and white earlier. It's gonna cover the entire screen but to bring it down to size, just put a second finger down the screen and pinch until you get it to where you want it to be. Take your time with this and really make sure that it's exactly where you want it. Once you have it where you want it, go ahead and select those tabs in the bottom center and then select the word lighten. This brings out the whites in the image and really sells the effect against the dark jar. Select the check mark there. So take a look at those two squares stacked on top of each other with the arrow jumping over them at the top. Select that. In this menu, what we're gonna wanna do is select view edits. Once you select that, you'll see the edits that we've applied. Go ahead and select double exposure. Once you select double exposure, you'll see those three icons pop up next to it. Select the paintbrush in the center. 
you'll see the second image that we added over the jar has disappeared, and you'll see the two arrows at the bottom pointing up and down. These arrows control the opacity of your second image, 100 being the most opaque, and 0 being completely clear. Have your double exposure value all the way up to 100 by pressing the up arrow until you see 100, and then just start from the center and paint out. Now if you really want to get intricate with this, you're able to zoom in, which also makes the area that your finger covers smaller, so you're able to get closer in and really pay attention to where you're painting in. So take your time and really just get everything painted in the exact way you want it to be. Make sure that when you're painting these in, that you're leaving some of the jar there, because the jar is the foundation of this effect. So then paint in exactly where you want it to be, and I'll go over intentionally to show you something. If we just completely go everywhere, if you accidentally paint too far, bring the double exposure value at the bottom down to zero, which essentially turns your finger into an eraser. And then just erase along the edges and get rid of everything that you accidentally did. And really pay attention to make sure you didn't accidentally press anywhere else on the screen and bring up part of the image. And then just paint around until you're happy with it. I personally like to leave some of the edges out, so it makes it look like the photo inside is actually a substance that's contained within the jar. Then select the check mark on the bottom right, and then to come out of your view edits mode, select the arrow in the top left. And then put a finger down and take a look at what you've done. And it's looking pretty good so far. So a lot of people would end here, but I like to go on just a little bit further and add just a couple more edits to really bring the whole image together. But the rest of this tutorial is completely optional, so if you're happy with what you have here, that's fine, go ahead and export. But what I like to do is to hop into Tools, and then Tune the Image. I like to bring down the shadows just a tad, to really deepen those edges in the jar. Then select the check mark on the bottom right, take a look again. Finally, you're just going to add whatever look you want to this image. I like to go into Tools, and then go into the Curves. If you press those tabs on the bottom right, you'll see all of these options. There's so many different ones that soft contrast, hard contrast, you can fade the image out. But one that really catches my eye is the KO1. To me, the KO1 brings life to the image. Now we're almost done. There's one more look I want to add to it, and that's the morning filter that they have. Just because I feel like this really brings the whole image together. It adds a color for you to look at. It just really makes the whole image pop. So now go ahead and press the check mark again, and then take a look at our handiwork. Mm, that's looking good. So now if you're happy with what you have, go ahead and export then export again. But that's it. That's how you put a photo inside of a jar using the Snapseed Double Exposure. If you end up using this tutorial to make something awesome, please do not hesitate to tag me on Instagram at K-E-N-N-O-V-8. I'd love to stop by and drop a like and a comment on all of your guys' posts, so don't be shy. And while you're tagging me, why not follow? We have an awesome community of supportive photographers that's growing each and every day, and I think it would be even more awesome if you yourself were a part of it. If you have any more requests for a Snapseed tutorial, just drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, make good use of that like button and please subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.